Hey y'all, hope everyone's having a good uh, week. So far it's Thursday, February the 29th, almost in March already, I tell you the year's flying by. But anyway, uh, figured I wanted to give y'all an overview because uh, I don't think I've had a chance to really talk about you know, my setup and uh, everything I got going on here with the land and all that sort of thing. So I figured I'd get a chance to let you know what I got going on exactly out here at the wood yard and how things are going and uh, got some big news a couple days ago with a new customer that I've mentioned before in past videos. So I'm very excited about that. But anyway, uh, first thing I wanted to mention was the land here. I'm actually renting the land. This isn't my land. I'm renting it from a buddy of mine, a fellow landscaper in Auburn, Alabama, uh, Corey with Creative Habitats. He was nice enough to uh, lease this little section of land out on this property uh, here across the street from where he has his shops and whatnot. Uh, $200 a month, so not too bad, but obviously it's it's rent, so it'd be nice if I own my own land to be able to you know, store everything and run this little business and whatnot, and that's, that's my plan uh, in the future, and I'm actually hoping to buy some land later this year so I can, I need to build a shop for my lawn care business and I'll have plenty of land to, uh, you know, operate the firewood side of things too. So I'm hoping, hoping everything will work out there. But anyway, I want to give y'all a kind of look around. Let me see if I can turn around. I want to give y'all a look around what's going on. I think somebody mentioned in one of the videos about all the piles and stuff. As you can see, there's the uh, the wood piles that Hunter, my buddy with the tree service, has been bringing in. I've been working a good bit on those, getting those dwindled down, and getting a lot of logs from it. I'll show you here in a minute all the logs I've bucked up and got ready to split here in a minute. But just kind of want to give you a look around, see all the work that's been done. He's still got a lot of piles over here. I'm sure they'll get some work done next week, try to smooth those out. Uh, he's having several different contractors and business owners that are gonna come out here and kind of do what I'm doing, uh, leasing the land from him so they can operate their business. I think they're gonna have a, I think Corey said something about a pine straw company coming in and operating right on top of this hill where I got the the limbs and stuff. So I'm gonna have to have a hunter and I said something to him about the other day. I told him from now on, if you can start dumping the lows a little bit closer to my little shed here, uh, that'll be good. That way they can go ahead and move all that stuff out of the way for the pine straw guy coming in to operate. But yeah, he had uh, power brought in recently and he had asked me about, you know, uh, putting a shop out here, but I mean, I'd really rather, you know, own my own land and uh, build my own shop on, on it personally. And the land that I'm looking at that I mentioned earlier is a lot closer to my house. I won't have to worry about going quite as far out here. It's a good good little ways out here, probably about 10, 10 to 15 miles from my house. So the land I'm looking at is only a couple miles away. So it'd be nice not having to drive as far and having my own shop and not having to pay rent. I would still make things more profitable for doing the firewood. But yeah, y'all, uh, someone had uh, commented on one of the videos. I just wanna, I just got to thinking, I need to kind of explain what I got going on out here you know, my setup and situation with, you know, rent and how I'm going about doing it and whatnot. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, that's that. Let me show you over here the progress I've made with uh, the different, you know, wood piles I got going, the stacks, whatnot. I think I mentioned all the laws I've bucked up recently. Hey, you can see, that's my red oak pile over here. Uh, I got, I think, close to three full sections, uh, almost full, full there, not quite. I'm working on my fourth right here in front. I'm hoping I may be able to fill out at least the three out to the end where those pallets are, get those uh, sections filled out there and start on this fourth one right here with the, uh, the logs I got right here that I bucked up recently. So that'd be good. I have, you know, a good, good bit of red oak. Uh, moving over, got my white oak right beside it. Check out all the logs, guys. Got a bunch of big, big rounds here. 
it's gonna be a lot of wood once I get it all split. Got some smaller pieces too. From what I've watched and gathered, uh, I don't see many YouTubers, you know, splitting a lot of the smaller pieces, but I mean, if it's there, I go ahead and cut them. I mean, obviously I know you're not gonna get many pieces out of these little skinny little rounds here, but I'll go ahead and cut them up and uh, split them up. You know, my thinking is if it's there, why waste it? Just go ahead and cut it up and, you know, it'll be, it'll be, it'll split and stack just like the big rounds here. But, uh, but anyway, got a lot of white oak. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up having a, what I prefer to do with these big rounds here, like that one. Go ahead and cut them into sections with the ax and then take those sections and put them on a splitter and cut them, split them up from there. But yeah, y'all, I've, I've mentioned my pecan pile I got. Uh, I'm still working on this big pile that I brought in over the weekend. I had two loads on my truck that I brought in last week and we're focusing on that right now. As you can see, I got a big pile of split water oak, split pecan, excuse me, right here, uh, continuing to build, build that pile up, add to it. Right here, guys, my, my white oak, uh, we drove in today and noticed it fell over. And I thought it was because we didn't do a very good job of stacking it very good obviously and i could tell it was just a matter of time before it fell over so my thinking is i'm just gonna we'll eventually pick it all up and either restack it or i'm just gonna put some more pallets in front when i get some more pallets and we'll just start piling it on the face of that stack there i'm not even gonna worry about you know stacking it up anymore to me it's just a waste of time and i worry about that happening so probably just gonna keep doing piles like this from now on everybody that i've listened to and that's been doing this for a long time say basically as long as it's off the ground it's okay to you know do the piles like this so that's why that's what i'm going to do moving on as you can see i got a bunch of water oak logs ready to split got some big rounds over here that i've been working on and i got a big pile of split wood i'm excited about but anyway yeah We'll keep growing that pile there and we'll have to get some more pallets again to put on the ground here as that pile gets wider so yeah i'll, I'll get some i have a buddy a couple buddies that work for ups and they got a uh place where they operate out of here in opalaka and they always have pallets available so i'll go there at least once a week to pick up free pallets you know, to use for the wood yards so that works out good but yeah y'all check it out a ton of a ton of rounds here some big rounds, the water oak. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. Like I said, I'll take the ax and split up a lot of these big pieces to smaller sections about to pick them up and put them on a splitter. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Uh, as far as the progress, uh, feel really good about the progress we've made in a couple weeks that we've been, a couple months, excuse me, that we've been working out here. And really my entire goal, my main goal the entire time has been to build my supply. You know, just continue to add to my supply. And uh, I wanted to separate the woods because I got to thinking about it. Well, you know, a lot of people like to smoke and cook with wood around here. So I was thinking, well, if I separate them, you know, I feel like that will be a good idea, you know, for that aspect of sales and bundles and whatnot, have them separated because different people like different types of wood to cook and eat with and smoke. So I've done that and I feel like that was a good decision to go ahead and do that instead of just mixing them all into one big pile or whatever. So uh, that's worked out well. But let's talk about the big news I mentioned earlier, guys. So I think I've mentioned in the past videos, the updates I've done about my relationship with Ace Hardware here in town, here in Auburn. Uh, like I said in previous videos, the main thing that I do is lawn and landscape, mainly lawn maintenance work. And they sell steel equipment, they sell Xmark mowers. So I've been uh, go, going up there ever since they opened back in 2013, buying equipment and whatnot, and have a really good relationship with them over the years. And uh, I'm assuming they like me. Uh, Sure they do, but, but anyway, yeah, I like all the guys up there. I gotta give a shout out to Chandler. I told him he'd be making a video. So I wanna give him a shout out. 
uh, Chandler, Randy. I've known Randy for a long time. Great guy. Payne, College, Thomas, Nora. Let's see here. Make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, I'm bad with names, guys. So I, I can forget names pretty easy. Uh, Michael, Michael Fick Fickner. If that's, <laughs> I think I said your name wrong, Michael. I'm not going to try to say it again. But, but anyway, yeah, all great people, uh, great business, uh, local business. Much rather go up there if I can, as opposed to the, some of the bigger box stores, you know, and support local business whatnot and like i said they've been great to me over the years so as i've mentioned uh back in december i believe i approached chandler you know about what i was doing with the, the firewood thing i have you know i started up and got going and whatnot and i got to know some what they were selling he was telling me about how they've bought you know the bundles of wood which is just the regular generic kiln dried mixed oak that they sell now and i was thinking man uh what with me separating all these woods and people love to smoke and cook around here uh you know with the red oak the white oak the pecan now that i got and obviously the water oak i mean i'm assuming i assume people don't smoke a water oak maybe they do but anyway uh so i approached chandler about it and got talking to him about it and eventually i talked to mr pat up there he's the i forget what chandler told me that he's that he does i think he's just the director of you know the product placements and you know uh buys and sells the different things that they sell up there and that kind of thing so i got talking to mr pat out there super nice guy as well and uh he liked the idea uh obviously it just makes sense y'all i mean they were selling like i said the generic kiln dried mixed oak and apparently it sells throughout the year according to mr pat he's selling it sells throughout the year and obviously more so in the fall and the winter when more people were out burning fires and and whatnot so he was talking about how well it sells so being that we're going to be offering different types of wood i mean we both feel like it's going to be a great deal and they'll sell sell really well and especially given the fact they sell a lot of grills well i don't think i mentioned they sell a lot of grills and whatnot so people are coming up there you know, looking for grills and uh, pellet grills and all that kind of thing. So they'll have a setup with the different woods. Like I said, I've got the pecan over here, the the white oak, the red oak, the water oak. But we'll be I'll be bundling all four of these woods, making them into bundles for Ace to sell. And uh, we've already agreed to a price. I'm not going to say what it is, but. You know, I felt like I'll be making some good money, some decent profit, and uh, you know they will as well. I'm actually saving them a little bit of money compared to what they're paying now, and this is gonna be even a better offer for them. And they'll be able, hopefully be able to sell more than they were before. I assume they will. I think they will for sure. But luckily for me, like I've said in the past, obviously this isn't my primary source of income. I'm not expecting just to make a ton of money doing this. I feel like I can make a good, good bit of money in the future and whatnot as I gain more customers. And I feel like the bundle sales is a big uh, potential, you know, uh, sales for me, uh, money maker for me, excuse me, I'm doing the bundles. Cause I know different people in Auburn that own gas stations and I have a customer, uh, it's a local gas station in town. They have a uh, Dunkin' Donuts attached to it. It's a real popular spot for people to come get gas and gas up, fill up, uh, get food in the morning and whatnot. A good good area, and they don't sell bundles now, so I'm thinking about asking them as well. But anyway, y'all, back to the main point. Like I said, I'm really excited about this uh, new relationship with Ace, being able to uh, make these bundles for them to sell. Obviously, it's going to be a mutual beneficial thing for both of us felt like i'll make a little bit of money be able to you know get rid of some of this wood you know i gotta sell it somehow so i feel like i'll be able to you know bundle up a lot of wood for them to sell because I, I assume it's going to sell really well you know it'll be something that will last for hopefully as long as assuming i'm doing this for many years to come i'm assuming it'll be a good relationship for many years to come so i'm looking forward to it but anyway, y'all, uh, like I said, really very excited about it. It's my first big sale, I feel like. Since I started doing this in November, I haven't really made any money yet. But with this news, uh, it makes me feel better. 
you know, about all the wood that I've got with supply I have here. So I finally feel like I'll be able to make some money and they're gonna be, they do want me to wait a few more years, excuse me, a few more months uh, for it to dry out before I actually start bundling it and bringing it there. And that makes sense, you know, uh, don't want it to be green, not be able to burn, that kind of thing. So we're gonna wait a few more months before I actually bundle it up and start selling it. But yeah, y'all, really very excited about it. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great thing for both of us and hope everyone's having a great week and the weekend's upon us. Hope everyone has a great weekend as well. Talk to you soon.